I paid 2000 to my graphic designer to create this amazing graphic over here. Can you believe it? What if I told you this graphic has been created with just 10 cents? That is kind of around like 6 to 7 rupees? Yeah, that's true. This has been created using OpenAI new latest model which is destroying any other image model out there. So you, you might have heard about Ghibli trend which everyone are doing it. So this is the same image model which we are using over here to create this amazing graphic over here. Not only that, we will also generate the amazing message, LinkedIn message which you can post over there with this graphic design. And then tell me your post won't go viral. So this is the for sure way using which you can create your own amazing LinkedIn post and just text post with it will also create the image with it. So let's see how we can create this and let's do the demo for this thing. So this image post if you see over here has everything. It has the hook, it has the perfect body, it, it has the perfect CTA. So let's create one more for latest AI news. So let's generate for this. So it is going through the public city search. We are using public city to search the internet and get the latest information. Then we are from here, we are generating amazing LinkedIn post which you saw over there. Then this is the image generator prompt. We generate the prompt for the image. And using this HTTP request, we are generating the image which you just saw. Now image and message has been generated. So let's go to Telegram. And we have got this. Robots running a marathon. Even though you are seeing a robot competing in half marathon, well that's happening. China just hosted its first half marathon featuring 21 humanoid robots racing alongside thousands of humans. That's amazing, right? So let's see how that has been depicted in the image. So if you see the image, we can see the robot has been travel. The robot has been running the marathon in the perfect way over here. That's amazing, right? So how perfectly it is depicted in the image the robot is running in the marathon. And second news is regarding goodbye to GPT-4 in the chat GPT and hello to GPT-4.0. So this is has been depicted over here 4 to 4 oh. So amazing you can see over here. And one more last um, news is regarding the FDA just approved for AI tech for measuring the prostate volume with ultrasound. So if you see over here, we can see the same image over here. If you zoom it over here, you can see there is an ultrasound image over here. So detail they have taken over here. So this is kind of a powerful capability new image generation model of GPT comes with. So let's see how we can make this amazing model and just go to sleep and your LinkedIn will be taken care of. Let's make it. If you're new to this channel, I make tons of video around Anytime and automation workflow. It would be great if you could give it a walk and see what kind of video I make. And please subscribe to my channel, like to the video which you like it and share it with your friends. Okay, now let's see how we can make this amazing automation workflow. So first it starts with the telegram trigger. So I have made tons of video within the telegram trigger. So uh, I, it will show how you can uh, set up this bot. You just need this access token which you will get from the bot father. Once you have got this, we will be will be getting the message which we asked for what kind of a uh, graphic or what kind of a message we want. The latest message was regarding the what are the latest AI news. Okay, and now it will go to the public public city search. We will be needing the API key for the public city. So for that, let's go to public city. And now do the login, and after that, you can see the setting icon over here. Click on the API. Do some payment. It will last a long. I have literally done this payment a long time. I don't know when it will get end, but it's lasting a long time. Then generate the API key. Go to the documentation API reference. Now you will get a curl over here. Just copy that uh, same curl. Just copy this curl part, come to workflow and just import the curl over here and set the header part. When you are adding the header, write the authorization, then write the bearer and paste the uh, API key which we have generated. So, so I have already done it, so I won't be doing it. And there is a better method to do this instead of writing the send header because whenever you in the future you want to reuse this header again, so you don't have to write this header again and again. So for that, we have a best method in the authentication, go to generic authentication then header auth, then creator of uh, publicity header. It will ask the same information, authorization, then bearer and your access key. Okay. So now you have got this. Now we'll go to the JSON part. Inside JSON, we have written a small content. You are a smart, helpful AI assistant that summarize the most recent and relevant user information based on user request. Search across trusted source and provide two to three short summaries that are concise, informative, and easy to visualize. Always include the source or URL if available only show content from the past week. That's so amazing, right? And please find recent update or news about whatever message users ask for. In our case, it is what are the latest AI news. Then summarize two to three stories. And also we are giving time because we want news to be recent and not just old or something. So we are providing the date. What is the current date? Okay. So this is the result and we get an amazing message uh, from the public city by searching the news. Then we go to the AI agent. This AI agent does everything. This is the main brain which craft the LinkedIn post. 
okay so i have a long prompt over here i provide the proper example how you should write the linkedin post over here you will get all this information in the description because i have paged the template in the description you can download that and you will get this prompt over there okay you can see i have multiple examples over here which will show how you should write the linkedin post and at the end we are given the content which we have received from the publicity okay now once that is done we'll get the output and which will get the output in the proper linkedin format once we have got the output there are some of the cases where we get this uh, double star there can be some cases where we get the double star over there so i have written just a normal code note over here which remove double star because i don't like the double star i have tried pasting in the prompt but it was not working it for me that's the reason i have pasted no uh, code note over here if it is working it's not a mandatory to add this code note okay so now our next goal is to create the image prompt using the linkedin prompt which you have got from the ai agent okay so for that we'll come over here and inside the user message we have written uh, a yeah, linkedin post which you have got from there and linkedin post over here now the main role is of a system message in system message we have written uh, you are a visual strategist ai that converts linkedin post into image generation prompt i won't be reading the uh, whole message over here because it has lots and lots of prompt over here you will get everything in the description okay so from this we get the output of the image prompt which we can pass to the open ai image model okay so once we have got this now it's time to get the http request i let me rename it so this this will do the image generation part over here okay so for this thing we'll be requiring the api key credentials and everything so let's see how we can do it let's go to the open ai now after you have done the login so in the general part over here in the setting in the general part the verification need to be done it is a very simple step for anyone it will take only hardly 2 to 3 minutes and your verification will be done because after the verification only you will be able to generate the image so once the verification has been done go to the api reference inside api reference when you go to the image part over here over here you can see the curl part and inside the curl just copy the same curl and go to the workflow and just import the curl and you will get all the information over here now we will be requiring the api key if you see inside this uh, curl part we are requiring the api key so for that let's go to the uh, let's go to the dashboard inside dashboard go to the api key and generate a new secret and you will be getting the new secret part once you have got that go to the image generation node url and everything will be by default uh, pasted over here once you imported the curl now we need to add the header so for the header as i show you uh, as i have shown you you can use this uh, send header but there is a good way which we can do using the generic credential type and create an uh, header auth and just inside the credential type just write the um, inside the name just write the authorization and the value will be bearer space uh, api key which we have got okay that will do the work once you have got that then everything will be there i think there might be one key which is called as n equal to 1 that might not be working for some reason just delete that key and inside the prompt and inside the prompt key just add the prompt output which you have got from the image generation node okay now after that is done just run it it will work it will give you and it will give you the output and now once we have got the output we'll get the output in the base long base64 json we need to convert this base64 into the file part we will need requiring the convert to file because to go to the plus node search for convert to file and we will requiring the move base64 to file part just use that and now convert inside this thing in base64 field just use this uh, data0 base64 part json and it will convert into the image file and now once we have got the image file now we need to send this image to telegram and we need to send the image so for the telegram we'll go to telegram node inside the chat id we'll be requiring the chat id so for that we can go to the telegram trigger and from the telegram trigger we'll be requiring this chat id so if i remove this part and if i use this chat id we'll be requiring the chat uh, chat id because i think i have not ran the node that's the reason it's giving a uh, red but it will work for sure and inside the uh, toggle the binary file and data will remain the same because we have generated the image in data key and then once it is gone we'll get a message inside the telegram this message and now we to send this message what we need to do we'll go to the node part again then we need to send a message same thing same thing will happen over here instead of binary it will be normal text message but both node will be the different so for this telegram if you go to telegram node over here inside telegram we'll be requiring a send a photo message and for this normal text message we'll be requiring a send a text message and once set up you will get everything properly so now let's run everything end to end so let's start the workflow let's search for recent update in space exploration so let's send it now if if once once you have send it we'll go to the workflow as we can see we have got the trigger now publicity search is running now we have got the result from publicity search it is going to the brain where it is crafting the linkedin post in which format we have asked for proper pro proper hook then proper body body and the cta now it is going to the image prompt part 
now it's going to the image prompt part where it's generating the prompt uh, prompt for the image now image generation is happening inside the image generation the proper it will take some amount of time to generate the image but because since we know image take image generation take time once image generation is done it will go to convert and photo will be sent uh, so for each image generation for 1 million input token it require uh, it takes around 10 dollar and for uh, around 1 million output token it requires 40 dollar over there so i think uh, around it will come around 6 to 7 rupees or 10 rupees per image or i think around uh, 0 0.10 to 0 0.20 cents per image generation okay so let's see the workflow so i think everything has been done let's go to the uh, telegram in the telegram we can see that hubble telescope turned 35 since 1990 it is been it's been our window of the universe showing off nearly 1.7 million celestial wonder and spawning over 22,000 scientific paper. So that's a huge number over here. If you don't know, Hubble telescope has crossed our solar system range and it is going some beyond and beyond. That's the kind of new information because I like space exploration and everything. And space is X in roll up. So let's forget about this thing. Let's see the graphic. In graphic, uh, there is some mismatch, but by changing the prompt, this can be improved. But this has a lots and lots of capability to turn any kind of image which you want. I hope this video might be useful for you. There are so many such kind of informative video out there. If you like how to uh, automate your WhatsApp business, there is this video you can just check out.